favorite meals here is cow soy, which is a northern Thai curry. And uh, what makes this one so good, um, Maimini, I'll upload a video. I went to Maimini too the other day and got some cow soy. So the cut of meat that they use that makes it so good, normally cow soy is made with chicken, is uh, beef shank. So I went ahead and got a kilo of beef shank at the um, local supermarket. And I'm going to make good old fashioned American beef stew. So it's going to be like the cow soy with the delicious soft chunks of meat. Um, but just, you know, beef stew, carrots, potatoes, uh, celery, onion, uh, and beef shank <laughs> for the stew. But in America, you just get stew meat. Here, I'm going for the beef shank because it's a really good tender cut of beef. So I'm going to cook it in the crock pot, slow cooker. Um, but first, you brown the beef to give it flavor. And then the base of the sauce is going to be um, from scraping up the brown bits on the bottom of the pan. You get the delightful sizzle. Don't overcrowd the pan. This is going to be two or maybe three batches because you really want to brown that meat. You want to keep that heat. Uh, keep all the fat on. I didn't trim any fat at all because that's going to melt down over the six to eight hours I cooked this. Yeah, so just single layer with the meat in the pan. You can hear it sizzle when I put it down. And then now it stopped sizzling because of the cold, you know, the meat was refrigerated. And then you're just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour over top of it. That encourages the browning. <laughs> Gives the meat a little texture, a little crust. Alright, so I'm just going to brown this on both sides, turning it over a minute, couple minutes. You're not cooking it, you're just browning it. And it's still raw in the center. So that's fine. Because it will be cooking for many, many hours in the slow cooker. So I'm just looking for that brownness. And then I'll put the next batch of meat in. So the second batch is in, and because the pan is hotter, you can hear it sizzle quicker, and there's about 30 seconds, 45 seconds ready to flip. The smaller pieces you can see are really nice and brown. So I just flip them over to the other side and let that cook for about a minute. All right, pan is empty. All the meat's in the slow cooker. But look at all that delicious, juicy goodness. What are we going to do? Deglaze. Just about, I don't know, half a cup of wine. Wooden spoon. Scrape up all those delicious little brown bits because they're flavor. That's why. Mm. And I'll just uh, leave this on the heat and reduce it down to about half. So it'll be about a quarter of a cup of wine. And then I'm going to put a cup of beef broth into the slow cooker and let that sucker start to simmer. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right, everybody in the pool, you got your browned meat and um, seasonings. I use garlic, pepper. Um, if you are lazy and don't want to put a bunch of seasonings, uh, Montreal steak seasoning is a good all around, all purpose. You can just put that on the steak, steak on the uh, beef. And then, uh, as I mentioned, I have about a quarter cup of red wine reduction I deglazed the pan with and then a cup of uh, beef broth and I saw on high you put it on high until it starts to bubble and boil and then cut it down to low put the lid on stir it every hour cook it mm, six to eight hours until the meat is literally falling apart all right I got my veg over here um, I got two pounds of meat so two onions if you're using one pound of meat Use one onion, one carrot, and one potato. I got two pounds of meat, so I got two onions, two carrots, one and two small potatoes, which equals two potatoes. I might use a third. I like I like potato in my beef stew, uh, so I might use a third little small one. We'll see, but I'm going to chop them up, prepare them. They don't go in until about an hour to an hour and a half before you pull it. So it's like 9 in the morning, 
as I'm starting the the beef and the, the you know in the crock pot. Um, this isn't going to go in until like 4 or 5 p.m. But I'm going ahead and prepping them now, getting ready. The celery is still in the refrigerator because that literally goes in, you know, 15 minutes, maybe half hour before. The celery cooks super fast, very light and delicate. So I, I cook the potatoes and the uh, carrots for about an hour and, and, and the onion too. The onion doesn't really get hurt by being in there that long. It just uh, adds to the flavors of the stew. But they don't need to cook for... Uh, six to eight hours obviously all right it's been a while since i've done kp duty like over 20 years but hey you know no, the vegetables aren't going to peel and cut themselves so got the onions done i um, gonna hit the carrots and the potatoes next but what i wanted to show you was this has been on high for about a half an hour yeah it took me a long time to peel those vegetables i'm old and slow and you can see it bubbling you see that we're there we're at the at the uh, simmer point so just one more time with my big wooden spoon mix that up there get it all coated with the spices and the juices scrape down the walls a little bit and turn this down to low set it and forget it all right, I'm just going to finish chopping the veg, and then I'll go relax for six hours. All right, all right, all right. To do the final shot, I actually waited to the day after. The reason being the tomato sauce for pasta, chili, and stew, beef stew, um, always tastes better the day after. So this is the final product. Just heated it up, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it was it was delicious day one. You see what happens with the broth. Unctuous is a good word. Um, it's really thick. That's the right consistency. That's what you're looking for. That's what you get when you cook it. You know, all day in the slow cooker. Uh, the beef is fall apart tender. Uh, carrots are just cooked. Potatoes are just cooked. Onions have um, wilted, which is how I like them uh, completely. So that's it. The next day, to me, is the best time to enjoy the beef stew.